This video is about simplifying expressions and specifically simplifying fractions. When you simplify a fraction you can sometimes cancel some things from the top and the bottom of the fraction. But I run into a lot of stu students who aren't clear on what you can and can't cancel. And we'll look at this with an example here. 6a plus 4 divided by 2a. Now let's try to simplify this. The mistake that people make is looking at this and they see the a on the top and on the bottom and they say, aha, let's cancel the a's. You can't do that. Or they might see the 2 and the 4 and say, ah, let's reduce that. The 4 becomes a 2 and that becomes a 1. You can't do that either. And the reason you can't is because of this plus sign right there. The things up top are added together. They're not multiplied. If they were multiplied, then everything up top would be a factor and you could cancel. The rule, the one thing to keep in mind, is that you can only cancel factors. If you're trying to cancel things from the top and the bottom of a fraction, you can only cancel factors. So we can't cancel anything from this fraction like it's written right now, but we can do this. We can factor the top. 6a plus 4 can be rewritten like this. I can write it as 2 times 3a plus 2. That's the numerator because you see if I distribute this 2, 2 times 3a would give me the 6a and then the 2 times 2 there would give me the 4. So I've factored out this 2 up top. The bottom I'll leave as 2a. Now look at the top. I have 2 as a factor and 3a plus 2. I've factored the top, so there are now two factors, the 2 and the 3a plus 2. So I can cancel the 2 now because it's a factor. And down on the bottom, the 2 is also a factor. So both of those can be canceled. And I'm left with this, 3a plus 2 over a. And then I stop. I can't cancel these a's right here because that's added. You can only cancel factors. And that a is multiplied by the 3, but it's not multiplied by this 2 over here. So I have to stop. That's all the simplification that can be done on this particular problem. Let's take a look at another example here. x squared plus 6x plus 9 over x squared minus 9. First, note this addition right there and the subtraction right there. So in general, the things we're looking at are not uh, not factors. So you can't do this. You can't say, ah, x squared, x squared, let's cancel both of those. That's a mistake. Same thing with the 9. You can't say, okay, a 9 up top and bottom, cancel those. That's a mistake too. You can only cancel factors. So what we need to do is try to factor the top and the bottom. And in this case, these both factor pretty easily. The x squared plus 6x plus 9 factors like this. It becomes x plus 3 times x plus 3. And you can check that with, with a foil if you want to. You can see the x times x gives you your x squared. And then I have a 3x and another 3x to give me the 6x and the 3 times 3 gives me a 9. So this is the factorization of my numerator. x plus 3 times x plus 3. Now let's look at the denominator. x squared minus 9. That's the difference of two squares. Remember that a squared minus b squared always factors as a plus b times a minus b. So this factors as x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now look at what I have. I have two factors up top, x plus 3 and x plus 3, and two factors on the bottom, x plus 3 and x minus 3. This x plus 3, that factor up top, can cancel with this one down here. So I strike both of those out. And I'm left with this, x plus 3 over x minus 3. Now I can't cancel these x's, and I can't cancel these threes. I'm done. This is as far as I can go with the simplification. I can't cancel those x's and those threes because they're not factors. And we can only cancel factors.